Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Crypto Live Leak. I'm Ken, and today we're going to do a quick Tezos update video. So since our last Tezos video, there's been some big news headlines, and we'll discuss those here. So this week, May 15th, some news came out from the foundation, and Tezos Foundation is to support OCaml Labs and a media software institute. So this is sort of a scientific research education partnership here. We'll dig deeper in a second. Also, some discussion in the Reddit forum has alluded to the fact that the Tezos developers have gone ahead and put some open source software out there that allows Tezos to be compatible with the Ledger Nano S. So that's pretty big news for those of you wondering if you can store your Tezos on the Ledger once they get released. Another piece of information that came out this past week was that Arthur and some other people involved with Tezos had invested in Starkware. Starkware seems to be a form of privacy implementation uh, that could possibly be merged into the Tezos core protocol, giving it similar properties to the Znarks that are associated with Zcash. We've also heard news about MoneyTrack, uh, one of the first ICOs that plans to build on the Tezos blockchain. And then there has also been some great news out of the Tezos Commons Foundation. Uh, they have gone ahead and put a Google Doc available to the community uh, where you can apply to host a Tezos meetup. All you got to do is go click on the link, fill out the information, and they will follow up with you shortly. I'll put that link in all these links we discuss in the description box below. And then lastly, uh, in regards to an update for launch, some of the main bullet points that were given, uh, we're starting to see code updates on GitLab, on GitHub for those major bulletin points that needed to be accomplished before launch could happen. So again, let's dive into all this stuff in detail right now and find out a little bit more. All right, guys, and starting off here on CoinMarketCap, we go over to the Tezos pre-launch XTZ, and we see that it's up quite a lot this past week. Uh, no real news besides the, the headers that we've already touched on. Uh, there is consensus 2018 happening. Uh, so that really kind of this move started coinciding with the beginning of that conference. It could have been related. It could have not been. We are also in approaching launch. So it could have been just someone accumulating a bit of Tezos before the launch date is announced. As we do not have too much volume in the IOU markets, about a million US dollar value per 24 hours. So hopping right into those news articles we already outlined. Uh, so first, the big major news announcement here was the Tezos Foundation to support OCAML Labs and a Media Software Institute. Um, so Tezos Foundation is committed to funding world-class research that will contribute to the Tezos protocol and ecosystem. This move accomplishes just that. So if you remember earlier in the year in February, Tezos Foundation announced support for the Learn OCAML project at INRIA. And here, this is in addition to that, they're going to support OCAML and establish a multi-year research and training and dissemination program with the Media Software Institute to address Tezos related technologies. Now this is a nonprofit research foundation based in Madrid, Spain. A media software houses talented researchers in relevant fields including cryptography, computer science, formal verification, distributed systems and programming languages. So it's a hotbed of students and graduates of 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 this industry here. So perfect partnership for the Tezos Foundation. They're doing exactly what we want them to. Next, let's touch on the implementation with the Ledger Nano S. So again, uh, Arthur had one of his developers create a open source uh, code that implements Tezos into the Ledger Nano S. Now Ledger actually didn't so come out and say they publicly support the Tezos, uh, but with this software add-on, you can have the wallet connected to the ledger that supports Tezos. Further down the line, once Tezos release, we do expect them to come out and make a public statement, issue their ledger Nano S's with pre-supporting software for Tezos. So that's great to know that the development team was ahead of the game there. Uh, next up, we have this Starkware article that we saw pop up in the Tezos Reddit, uh, Zero Knowledge Proof Starkware. So this is something that Arthur had invested in uh, on his own, and it seems like possibly they are going to integrate this into the Tezos code base at some point in time, uh, where it gives a privacy aspect similar to Znarks uh, that would be associated with Zcash. Um, so this is a more advanced implementation of that privacy software. Next, we had MoneyTrack building on uh, the Tezos blockchain. So this is an ICO here, and it seems that some of the developers uh, for the Tezos core protocol are involved with this money track system here. So it's good to see that projects are already starting to announce that they're building on the Tezos blockchain. So that's great to hear. 
And then next up, we have the Tezos Commons Foundation. This is the foundation with our friend Jonas Lamas uh, that started to basically have an outreach to the community. Um, they want to go ahead and connect and organize meetups. And to do that, they've actually created a Google Doc where you can go ahead, enter your information, and apply to help organize and help host one of these meetups from around the world. So if you are interested in doing this, please go over to this link. I'll have it in the description box below. Put your information in and someone from that Tezos Commons Foundation will surely reach out to you. And then lastly, we have the to-do list before launch. So as we saw, uh, this was noted from the development team before launch is going to happen. We need them to complete these data points here. Complete multi-pass validation for single blocks, data accounting, gas cost uh, associated with the system, storage cost, uh, fix Mickelson calling mechanisms, allow manual override for protocol hashes, finish checkpointing, test hardware signatures, improve baking daemon. So as we saw here, Tokyo on Rails, which is one of the community admins in Reddit, had responded with a few GitHub, GitLab links showing that some of this has already been accomplished, just not merged into the core code yet. So let's keep an eye out for Milo's post in the coming weeks when some of this starts to get more merged into the core protocol and then it will go ahead get audited by those two auditing firms that are currently looking at the Tezos core protocol as we move closer to launch. So that's awesome, very exciting news here, very positive stuff. This is a very big project moving in the right direction. Again, as a community member, you can go out, reach out to Tezos Commons Foundation to see if you wanna get more involved in one of those meetups that they are currently organizing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really appreciated all the information we went over today. Hope it makes you a little bit more knowledgeable. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that updates button, and like this video. Thanks, guys. Take care until next time.